Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I am Yvi Prajesh again from Surya Bala Ford Coimbatore showroom today, and I am here with the Ford Freestyle Titanium BSX variant. The Freestyle is essentially a crossover version of the Ford Figo hatchback, and this is one variant lower to the top spec Titanium Plus variant. I think the Freestyle looks really good in this ruby red color. Do let me know what do you think about this color. Starting with the features, of course you can see that no variant of the Ford Figo, Aspire and the Freestyle get projector headlamps. However, this titanium variant also lacks front fog lamps. Apart from the lack of front fog lamps, the Freestyle titanium variant looks exactly similar to the titanium plus variant. Both the Titanium and Titanium Plus variants of the Ford Freestyle also get 15-inch alloy wheels which are grey in colour and really complement the overall simplistic design of the Freestyle. You also get thick plastic cladding all around the car on all the variants. Coming to the roof, of course the Freestyle exclusively gets roof rails which are robust to look and feel. Moving towards the rear, of course you can see that the design remains exactly similar to the Ford Figo Titanium variant including the tail lamps, tailgate, rear windshield and even the spoiler. Even the rear bumper looks exactly the same except for the dual tone FOS kit plate treatment. Another unique thing I would like to point out on the titanium variant of the Ford Freestyle is that similar to the Aspire, you get a reverse parking camera mounted in the number plate housing. However, you do not get any sort of reverse parking sensors. And of course, being the titanium variant, this car also does not get rear wiper, washer and defogger. So now let's get inside the car to check out the features. Yes folks, right now I am inside the new Ford Freestyle BS6 Titanium variant and this is how the interior and the dashboard looks like. This is exactly the same dashboard layout and design seen on the Ford Figo Titanium variant. However, there is one major difference and that is the availability of the touchscreen system on this Freestyle Titanium variant. The Ford Figo Titanium variant on the other hand does not have any sort of touchscreen system. Instead, you get a regular uh, in audio system on the Ford Figo Titanium variant but the Freestyle has this along with the reverse parking camera so that is a good feature to have however as you can see the Freestyle Titanium variant does not have automatic climate control similar to the Titanium variants of the Figo and the Aspire as well these are good enough the cooling is good enough but an automatic climate control could have been better which was uh, provided on the BS4 Titanium variants of the Figo Freestyle and the Aspire uh, the steering wheel of course is exactly the same as seen on the Figo and the Aspire, so there is no difference here. The top spec variants, uh, of course, get leather wrapping, but this variant does not. However, you get steering motor audio controls. The instrument cluster is exactly the same across all the variants of the Figo, Freestyle and the Aspire, so there, there is no difference in this uh, aspect as well. You also get uh, keyless push button start along with a smart key, as you can see, even on this titanium variant. And you also get the button to open the boot or the trunk by pressing this button two times so that is also very nice uh, let me just uh, start the uh, accelerate power and this is how the interior looks like so that's how the touchscreen looks like it is exactly the same touchscreen seen on the titanium aspire over there so there is no difference in this aspect as well coming to the driver door you get uh, all four power windows with the driver window getting one touch down and one touch up function which is nice and there is also this uh, additional feature of power folding ORVMs which is available even on this titanium variant of the freestyle whereas the titanium variants of the Figo and the Aspire do not get this feature so that is an additional feature which is nice to have and of course you also get a height adjustable driver seat uh, typical as on any titanium variant of the Figo freestyle and the Aspire so that is also very very nice this here is the instrument cluster of course, just as I said, it is exactly the same as seen on the Aspire and the Figo. It gets distance to empty, uh, average economy, uh, engine temperature gauge and external temperature gauge as well. You also get uh, proper indication for door ajar warnings and all. So that is also very nice. Coming to the right side of the steering wheel, you get the very same headlamp dial controls, uh, including a couple buttons as well. Similar to the titanium variants of the Figo and the Aspire, however, this titanium freestyle does not get front fog lamps. You get only a rear fog lamp, similar to again the titanium variants of the Figo and the Aspire, so that is no difference at all. And this here is the scroller integrated into this dial itself for the headlamp leveling function. And this here is of course the button to open the boot. So that was all about the features on the dash. Of course, the transmission lever is quite different when you compare with the uh, Figo and 
the aspire as you can see this uh, freestyle variant gets piano black treatment along with certain chrome highlights which kind of looks very nice uh, so that is a good thing to have and it's a good feeling thing as well apart from that everything remains exactly the same you get the same rubberized tray just below the aircon controls to store your smartphone while they are being charged using the 12 volt charging socket and this year of course is the usb port and this year is the aux port so that's all about that and coming behind of course you get the exact same number of cup holders a large bottle holder for the rear seat passengers and this cubby hole over here however a uh, major highlight of the freestyle titanium variant is that you get electronic stability program and traction control which is not available on the top spec variants of the figo and the aspire as well so this is a very important safety feature available even on this mid spec titanium variant of the figo freestyle uh, so that is very very nice in fact no other premium hatchback offers electronic stability program and traction control uh, even on the top spec variant so that is a very good point for freestyle and of course in terms of other safety features of course you get dual airbags abs with ebd and pretensioner equipped seat belts along with engine immobilizer and smart key access uh, standard on this mid spec variant however uh, you do not get six airbags on this variant six airbags are available only on the top spec titanium plus variant that is very very clear so that's all about that coming to the roof of course you get a day night switch for the irvm is a standard affair and you get an interior yellow dome light along with very good quality solid and robust sun visors with a vanity mirror only for the passenger side now talking about this infotainment touchscreen system of course this system does not provide android auto or apple carplay however it provides a reverse parking camera despite the lack of reverse parking sensors i don't know how uh, good that works but still it is fine so let's just engage the reverse gear and this here is the reverse parking camera monitor it may not be the most uh, clear or the most crisp but still it is fine you can easily monitor where you are going in the reverse gear so that's all about that the touchscreen system itself is reasonably slick and very good in terms of response the audio quality is also very very good despite having only four speakers so that's all about the features and uh, equipment on the front cabin of the ford figo freestyle titanium variant so now let's check out the back seats yes folks right now i'm in the back seat of the ford freestyle titanium variant and this is how the dashboard looks like it may not have all the features of the titanium plus variant but still it has got adequate amount of safety features and decent amount of uh, comfort and convenience features as well so talking about the rear seats of course the space remains exactly the same as seen on the figo hatchback so there is actually no difference at all the comfort is decent uh, and the seat itself provides decent amount of under thigh support and the room is very good the windows are pretty large and easy to use you of course get all four power windows however only the driver window gets one touch up and down uh, so the overall space is decent i mean you can fit three adults abreast but still it could be kind of a squeeze but still so it is okay the good thing is that even on this titanium variant you get a uh, height adjustable rear seat headrests for two passengers at least so that is a very nice point um, so that was all about that and of course uh, being based on the figo you do not get any sort of rear door storage instead uh, ford have provided this uh, one large bottle holder to compensate for the lack of any other storage spaces so that is all and you also lack any sort of interior dome lighting on the roof for the rear passengers so that was all now let's check out the boot of the Ford Freestyle. Yes, folks, I'm going to open the boot of the Ford Freestyle using the smart key. Of course, using this button, pressing this twice will automatically open the boot. And here we go. You get the very same 257 liter boot capacity similar to the Ford Figo and it is decently shaped as well. However, you have got sort of a high loading lip which you will have to uh, make some effort while loading large luggage and under the boot floor you get to see a 14 inch steel spare wheel which itself has a speed limit of 80 km per hour. Then of course, uh, just like the Ford Figo hatchback, you also get uh, full flat folding rear seats. However, you do not get 60-40 split folding mechanism. And here we go. Let me just uh, push it inside. And yeah, here we go. It may not be the most flat floor. You get a pretty high step, but still it is decent enough for loading large luggage. And that was all about the boot space. 
Let me just close it. Now let's check out the engine bay. Opening the engine bay of the Ford Freestyle petrol titanium variant, you get to see the very same 1.2 liter 3 cylinder Dragon Series petrol engine which produces 96 PS of maximum power and a torque figure of 119 Newton meters through a 5 speed manual transmission for now. However, we are soon expecting a 6 speed automatic transmission carried over from the Ford Echo Sport. This engine, even though being just a 1.2 liter engine, still produces really, really good amount of power and is reasonably refined as well. So that was all about the engine bay. Now let's uh, talk about the pricing and conclude this review. So that was a quick detailed review of the Ford Freestyle BS6 Titanium variant. Even though not being the top spec Titanium Plus variant, this car is pretty well equipped with all the essential features you need on a mid-size hatchback. Sure, the Freestyle may not be as flamboyant as other premium hatchbacks and it also may not have a lot of fancy features. However, being based on the Ford Figo, the Freestyle is also awesome in terms of dynamics and of course engine performance and for safety also provides electronic stability program. If you want a no-nonsense hatchback for daily usage, which can bring a wide grin on your face with adequate amount of features the Ford Freestyle should be in your shopping list. So meanwhile this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.